For most of us, these bizarre, otherworldly shapes are strangely beautiful. But the world's best aging researchers see something entirely different. They see the answer to possibly the most important and complex question of all time. Dr. Sinclair, as I look here, I'm seeing very cute little colored cubes. Well, these little cubes are actually the, the protein in our bodies that we believe controls the aging process. If he is right, Dr. David Sinclair has found one of the genetic keys that will reset our biological clocks. I think we've, we've passed a turning point in our, our understanding of the aging process. How did he discover these proteins? This looks like a barcode, but it's really a map of our genome. The blueprint for human life stored in every cell in our bodies. A few of these genes play a key role in the speed at which our cells age. Dr. Sinclair randomly tested tens of thousands of cells searching for the chemical that would activate those genes. We found them by accident. We stumbled upon this molecule from red wine. And when I, I looked on the computer, what is this resveratrol, and found that it was in red wine, I almost fell off my chair. Because, of course, we all have heard that red wine is good for you. Just so happens, I have red wine. To your health. How much of this would I have to drink to really make a difference? Well, our experiments tell us probably about a thousand bottles a day. So that was not the solution. Dr. Sinclair then went back to the lab and found a way to make resveratrol 1,000 times more potent. So what does it do in the body? Well, what we have discovered is that resveratrol works on a gene, which is called SIRT1, and this is a gene that controls the aging process. Resveratrol seeks out that gene and switches it on. And with that gene activated in the mouse on the right by a high dose of resveratrol, she quickly turned into a mini Olympian, running twice as far as the untreated mouse on the left. And they were eating a high-fat diet, a fatty diet, and they lived just as long as a lean, healthy mouse, which means that they didn't get heart disease, cancer, even osteoporosis, and they lived 30% longer. Can you do this in humans? With the same exact gene. And we think that resveratrol could have similar benefits in people. Realizing the blockbuster potential for his new pill, Sinclair teamed up with biotech entrepreneur Chris Westfall, together raising more than $100 million for further research. And we think that we can increase healthy lifespan. So if you're in your 80s, you'll be behaving as if you were in your 50s. In the first human trial, a form of resveratrol successfully treated type 2 diabetes, one of the major diseases of aging. If everything goes very well, we will seek regulatory approval from the FDA in the next five years. I think a lot of people will say you're raising expectations. This, this can't possibly happen. My answer to that is, I agree, but it's true. What else can I say? Aging is really a set of diseases, and if we slow them down and cure them, people will live longer, healthier lives. And you're talking especially now about diabetes and Alzheimer's? So the major killers of Western society are exactly the diseases that should be able to be treated with the drugs we're developing. Well, you know what, doctor? Cheers. Other studies showed that among mice fed a high-fat diet, those given resveratrol didn't gain as much weight as those not given the drug. Sinclair believes that resveratrol actually changes the physiology of the mice. The proof, he says, is in the post-mortem. Their organs looked pristine, youthful, fat-free, uh, and their physiology was just like they were dieting but they were fat. Convinced they were on the right path, they fast-tracked the drug into human trials on people with untreated diabetes. And the results were impressive. It significantly lowered glucose and insulin levels without the patients changing their diet or taking any other drugs. Originally, our hope was that you'd be able to prevent diseases of aging. What we ended up seeing is actually you could therapeutically intervene in patients who have diseases of aging, and that was unexpected. Yeah, the diabetic patients have high blood sugar, and the molecules bring it down. That's treatment. That's not prevention. Sertris is now developing what they say is a much more potent synthetic version of resveratrol that will also soon go into human trials. 
this time on cancer patients. I keep on thinking, you know, what used to seem like it was science fiction. I actually believe the biology is right, and if we're right, this may be the most important thing that we're going to do in our lives. One measure of the potential of this research, Dr. Sinclair and Dr. Westfall's little startup company was recently bought by the pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline for almost three quarters of a billion dollars.